When I discovered Lunacin at UC Berkeley, I actually uh, um, discovered accidentally, I found that it was binding to a specific component in the cells, which is the, what we call the chromatin, which is the packaging material of the DNA. Now, those packaging material of DNA, it's composed of what we call histones. Now, those histones have tails. And we've done experiments where we've shown that lunacin specifically binds to those histone tails to specific residues of, of uh, uh, amino acids within those histone tails. Now, that's very significant because it turns out that epigenetic mechanisms involves modifying those histone tails. Now, by lunacin binding to those histone tails, it actually can prevent uh, the addition or, or the uh, uh, removal of those epigenetic marks associated with, associated with those histone tails. Now, those histone tails are very conserved. I mean, what you see in plants is similar to what you see in humans. So that the biological effect on those epigenetic marks can be translated to the humans. Uh, to the humans. And so when we, when we showed that effect, we were able to uh, link the health benefits associated with cellular health to the presence or absence of, of, of those epigenetic marks because of the lunacin peptide. Now, when we've done experiments on cholesterol, we've actually shown that it was also involved in uh, taking out those epigenetic marks associated with cholesterol biosynthesis. Now, having that mechanism of action, this epigenetic mechanism of action of lunacin explains a lot of the health benefits associated with lunacin. Yes, the dosing for Lunarich X is based on the amount of bioactive lunacin found in 25 grams of soy protein, which is the FDA-approved uh, amount uh, for the health claim to reduce cholesterol as well as reduce the risk for cardiovascular disease. Now, each 125 milligram capsule of uh, the Lunarich X is equivalent to the amount of bioactive lunacin that's found in that 25 grams of soy protein, which means that the Lunarich X has 200 times, at least around 200 times more bioactive lunacin than the industry standard of uh, uh, soy powder. Now, from our experiments, we determined that 250 milligrams of lunar HX, which is equivalent to two capsules, was able to reduce cholesterol by 8% uh, in subjects, in the pigs actually that we've experimented, weighing around 60 kilograms, which is the average weight in humans. Uh, it's, it is equivalent to 132 pounds. Now, the dose is needed to increase the dilution X dose needed to increase um, with heavier weight, you know, to get equivalent results. Although not necessarily in a linear fun in a linear manner. That means that if you weigh like 175 pounds, you might need to have uh, four capsules rather than two capsules. That means 500 milligrams instead of 250 milligrams. Um, that's why we recommend that the, the, the lunar X dose uh, from two to five capsules, uh, depending on the weight as well as the desired results, the desired health results, and also the overall condition of the individuals. So if you have a certain disease and you want the uh, lunacin to be in those tissues that you want it to be, then you want to increase it more so that the probability of the lunacin getting to those tissues um, will be higher. Um, so it, it will be really dependent not just on uh, the weight, but also the over health, overall health condition of the indiv individual, as well as the desired results. Yes, one of the major uh, studies are cu currently being done at, uh, on lunacin at University of California, Davis, and I'm involved with that, is that uh, we've shown that lunacin can mimic a known human tumor suppressor. And that's significant because no, bio no bioactive agent, natural bioactive agent, or even synthetic bio bioactive agent, can mimic a known human tumor suppressor. The implications for that is if you mutate that human tumor suppressor and mutating those human tumor suppressors usually lead to cancer. In the presence of lunacin, lunacin can't take the place of that uh, inactivated human tumor suppressor. That's why it can explain some of the uh, 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 cancer preventive effects of lunacin. Now, as far as the effects of the, 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 the lunacin on actual cancer patients where the cancer is already there, um, there are significant anecdotal results now that are coming out from uh, other universities and research hospitals. And one of the leading uh, cancer research uh, institutions uh, doing uh, 
cancer research, uh, which is uh, Cleveland Clinic, uh, one of the uh, oncologists there is, is partnering with us to do some of the preclinical works in, 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 um, in mice to show that lunacin can uh, reduce uh, uh, liver as well as kidney and bladder cancer. Um, so th th that's just a couple of institutions doing work with lunacin as far as cancer is concerned. But for, our, for uh, Relive and SL Tech, we've also partnered with other research uh, institutions to look at, the, uh, to validate in human clinical trials the effect of lunacin on lowering cholesterol and also the combination of lunacin or, or Lunarich X and Relive now in, in lowering metabolic syndrome as well as causing um, uh, 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 causing uh, loss of weight or uh, addressing ob the obesity problem. And so we've done, uh, we were co-partnering with Loma Linda University to, to, to validate those results. And, and recently we've also partnered with a group um, from Duke University where they were looking at, they were looking at the effect of lunacin and really supplementation in reducing uh, uh, muscle deterioration associated with ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease. And as far as anecdotal results associated with uh, diabetic edema and macular degeneration, we're also doing, um, uh, collaborating with ophthalmologists to, uh, and optometrists to validate the effect of lunacin in reducing diabetic edema as well as macular degen degeneration. So it's not just cancer, we've also been looking at uh, other health benefits associated with lunacin and validating and confirming them in human clinical trials, as well as mice xenograft experiments in preparation for human clinical trials in cancer.